Well, hello everyone. It's Gil from Scrimba, and I'm really excited because it is a special week here for me and the Scrimba team. I am in Oslo, Norway, where I not only get to meet my Scrimba team and we get to work on some cool projects and things for the platform, but we are launching a new course today for free on Scrimba for the Imba programming language, which just so happens to be the language that the Scrimba platform you all know and love is built upon. So I've been doing a little bit of learning of Imba the last few days. I'm fairly new to it, actually completely new to it. So immediately, since I have a background in JavaScript programming and React, for example, my mind immediately went like, okay, so what are some of the similarities I can see at a glance? What are some of the benefits of Imba, for example, versus working with libraries like React and Svelte and things of that nature? So yeah, I'm going to dive into some of that here and then talk a little bit about the new course that you can check out as well from one of our instructors, Nathan. All right, so Imba itself is a full-fledged programming language. It's super fast and it's quite opinionated compared to React, for example, that's more unopinionated and you can use it uh, with other libraries and import things like router, state management, styling options. And you can do some of that as well with Imba, but Imba really provides a lot of that for you out of the box and it forms some kind of opinion so that you can dive right into programming and it compiles to JavaScript after all, and it does have lots of similarities in terms of the syntax. You'll find that your variables and some of the primitives look and work in the same way. There's just a lot of options you can use uh, for making the language uh, more terse, right? Less typing. And uh, the idea is just to get you to just think about building what you want to build faster, right? So there's lots of things here in, in terms of defining functions. Uh, I found that the, the syntax is very much Python-esque right? It's less about things like semicolons and brackets, and it's more about just the code you want to define. Yeah, another really interesting thing is that styling is built right into Emba, right? You can use other uh, external style sheets as the documentation walks through. But you can do a lot of things with this clever style integration, right? You can style elements much faster in a sort of Tailwind-esque kind of way. And the documentation here, as I mentioned, walks you through many of the ways you can scope styles to elements, components, apparent selectors, and individual files, for example. So it's all super cleverly integrated and there's even an optional shorthand you can use right here in line to declare styling like for example if i want to style a button well this is all i need right d for display and then the pixel and it's all here in line and again if you don't quite like this at first it's optional you can use the more traditional longer form syntax and overall elements work in much the same way as you might work with them in javascript and even react you know the documentation talks about how DOM elements are a uh, first class part of the language, right? But the biggest difference, uh, even from uh, speaking with some of the developers of the language, is that there's no idea of a virtual DOM. So you're not diffing, for example, the rendered DOM against an updated DOM, the idea of reconciliation, right? That's, that's not so much a part of Imba as it is in React. In fact, uh, in talking with some of the developers, uh, it's much, much faster, right? And even the idea of data binding is it utilizes uh, memoization quite heavily, and that's what makes Imba really fast, right? So setting data uh, or data binding itself is not so much a concept you have to think about. You, you just set the data. Something that caught my eye as well was the router. So it has a built-in router that you'll find it works both on the client uh, and the server and a lot of the features that you might see in react router for example are here right you route matching uh, you can create nested routes dynamic routes and component life cycles some of them looked familiar here like hydrate render for example there's some related to suspense and the idea here like you would in react for example you would define those in, in your components 
And the documentation recommends that you'll, in most cases, define render and, and awaken in some cases, for example. Some new ones here that I wasn't quite familiar with, for example, tick. That's quite interesting uh, in, in awaken itself, but the documentation really provides a lot of exposition around these. And just to add to that, we are releasing an updated version of these docs this week. So if you go to emba.io, you should see an updated version uh, of really most of these sections. As you can see here, we're overhauling the docs. And you'll also find experimental support currently for working with transitions and animations. You can add and remove these to your elements and your UI. You can see some helpful examples here in the documentation. So yeah, overall, when working with Imba, you get to work with many of the elements you might be familiar with, as I mentioned, uh, while working with JavaScript and React. It's just all sort of bundled up together for you and set for overall faster building and, and less context switching, which is one of my key takeaways while learning uh, Imba and just reading through the docs. And there's also a really handy VS code extension too for Imba. So be sure to check that out and you can install it and it has uh, syntax highlighting and all of that good stuff. So you can work with it. All right. And finally, as I mentioned, Today, we are launching an official Imba course by instructor Nathan Manousis, and it's free, and it's two hours of content. There's over 40 lessons, and it's going to walk you through the basic syntax, and you're going to see it in comparison with JavaScript, for example, and uh, you'll learn about a lot of the client capabilities, for example, how you can write HTML and CSS quite easily and fast with Emba. You'll also build custom components and work on these side challenges you'll get to solve all while building a full on project. So I highly recommend checking this course out, learning Emba. You're going to add a valuable set of programming tools to your coding skill set. And really, you'll find how you'll be able to impressively build just about anything you want from a small and simple application to a large and complex app. And with Emba, you can even build Electron apps, which was quite fascinating. So yeah, check out the course. It's free. We're also going to be putting up on YouTube and Twitter uh, loads of resources on the Imba language, also some live streams that we're going to do. So yeah, I'm going to dive right back in and get back to checking out Imba because I've been having lots of fun learning the language. And like I said, yeah, be sure to check it out. Thanks, everyone.